guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is MC and make videos and blogs for international students who want to study, settle, explore the opportunities here in Canada. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you hit that red button below and don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I upload every single week. Also, if you're not part of the SLE mentorship group, don't forget to subscribe and be part of the mentorship because I'm giving some freebies. For example, free letter of acceptance from the schools that I'm partnered with. I also have some free resources for all my SLE members. So if you're interested to join the group, make sure that you check my description box for more information. So in today's video, we're going to talk about one of my school partner, which is the Selkirk College. As you know, I got my invitation to apply here in British Columbia, right? So I got an ITA from British Columbia Provincial Nomination. That is why I I'm encouraging international students to consider moving here to British Columbia and for students who want to study here I know that you guys are more concerned about the tuition fee cost here in BC so most of the schools here in BC is pretty pricey and pretty expensive but then it really depends on the area where the school is located so I did my research I found some schools that are not that expensive so that is why I'm giving this information today and one of the schools that I found is Silver College so if you haven't checked my video right here where I talk about Silver College that one is on my number two so I'm going to explain that in this video in more detailed manner where going to talk about the location of the school, the job opportunities, the housing, the accommodation, how much will you pay for the housing, and as well as the programs that they are offering. So what's the average tuition fee for this school and how would you apply at Selkirk College? So we're going to discuss that in this video. If you're interested to go to British Columbia and want to study here, then keep on watching. Selkirk College is part of British Columbia, obviously. So it's right in the center of Kootenays, West British Columbia. So they have six campuses and three main campuses are Nelson, Castigar, and Trail. So those campuses, you can find it in the southeast side of British Columbia. Currently, there are 12,000 students in this school. I'm not sure with the number of international students in the school, but then it's not that huge, it's not that small. And Silver College is located in the mountains, so you will expect that there are some snows uh, during winter time. But then, when I double check the weather, uh, it, you will only get like negative five during winter and then in summer you'll get like 15 to 27 degrees so that's pretty pretty good weather they, they have a lot of mountains so that's why you can find a lot of winter activities like skiing and also during summer you can also do some hiking or outdoor activities like canoeing or like sailing and everything and also if you want to go to Banff National Park you're really really close to this area it's not like super close it's gonna take like a couple of hours to go to Banff National Park so if you're not familiar with Banff I'm gonna flash a really beautiful uh, photo of me uh, when we went to Alberta it's one of the top destinations here in Canada and that being said Kootenay is one of the touristic area as well here in BC so they actually have that ski resort uh, hotel management because this is like one of the um, popular program of Stilkirk College so in terms of the public transportation you can also check BC Transit because it depends where you are so they have like transit that goes to Kathligar that goes to Nelson Nelson or trail you know just buy a pass for for the whole semester that's gonna cost like about $125 for the whole semester guys okay so that's pretty pretty cheap for international students but then again just double check the BC Transit like it really depends where you are if that like if the I'm not sure like the interval of the bus if that's every 10 minutes is it every 30 or every hour so you that's very important to consider guys 
guys okay but overall for the public transportation the school is pretty accessible so if you're not like working outside of the town then you won't have a problem I guess and also considering this area is a tourist spot as well then you will expect that most tourists uses public transportation right so you will expect that they will have a good transit um, around the town or around their area so for the housing I did some research so I use Facebook marketplace when I'm looking for accommodation or an apartment or a room so when I moved to Nova Scotia I used that as well or I connected to a Filipino community who can help me to find a place and here in BC I don't know anyone so I only use we only use Facebook marketplace so when I did my research I found 450 to 600 per room per month so if you're looking at like renting a two-bedroom apartment that will cost you 1300 okay so yeah so that's pretty reasonable for international students because I remember in Halifax that's almost the same price okay in Halifax you'll find 400 to 450 or even 500 or above so it really depends where you are in the area if you're really close to amenities or you know to school or to to supermarket so it depends then again it's average it's not that crazy like Toronto or Vancouver City when you go to Vancouver you, know, you will expect you're going to pay more than that so it depends where you are but here in Selkirk College expect that you will pay 450 to 600 per month and that one includes your utilities okay so next one would be the job opportunities as i have mentioned earlier that this area is a tourist spot as well it will be in tourism industry okay it can be like a waitress or you can apply as like a cashier like many more and during winter you can also work in some like ski resort definitely you will get a job while you're studying and I also checked indeed.com for part-time jobs I saw some jobs like cashier administrative assistant and sales associate Walmart uh, assistant so so there are tons of jobs for international students because I always receive these questions from international students how will I get a part-time job will I get a full-time job okay guys you will get a part-time job there's no problem with that because you can always find restaurants ever you go here in Canada so you can always work for them so how much do they pay here in British Columbia so the minimum wage here in British Columbia is 14.60 per hour then when I check the indeed.ca they're paying more than that okay some companies are paying 14.60 or maybe 16 per hour or 70 or even 18 per hour always show your qualifications so that would depends on your experience and like how would you present yourself during the interview so, so expect that you will get a decent salary while you're studying so now let's move on to the interesting topic which is the program so, the, so I have a, some notes here I'm sorry if I'm reading because I have to double check the tuition fee there it the tuition fee varies in every program so I will give you some estimate here while I'm telling you the the uh, program okay so Silka College is offering programs like business management you can get post uh, graduate diploma in accounting or business management or you can also take business man diploma in business management so the tuition fee for those program will be around 12,700 so I'm telling you just the tuition fee guys not including the less not including the miscellaneous fee next is health and uh, community services like gerontology for nurses and you can also take early childhood education or a social service worker the, the tuition fee varies again so it will be between 11,800 to 14,200 i think 14,200 is for gerontology nursing because as you know nursing it's quite expensive because they're also paying for your clinical hours next one will be hospitality because as, as i have mentioned earlier their tourist spot as well so they have culinary management they have ski resort operational management and post uh, graduate diploma in hospitality management so the tuition fee for this uh, type of programs will be between 11,800 to 12,700 so that's pretty reasonable right the next one would be the environment if you're interested to explore environmental programs like GIS or geo 
graphic uh, information system, uh, integrated environmental planning, forest technology, because as you know, they're in all, like they're in the mountains, so you'll find a lot of trees there. I'm pretty sure they have big trees too, and they have fish, and I forgot this, fish, wildlife technology. If you guys interested to those, that's, those are really interesting programs. I can't find those programs in other schools, so the tuition fee for those program will be. 11,890. The PR pathways, the well, PR pathways for international students would be uh, British Columbia Provincial Nomination. They have like specific stream for international students. That's like uh, the uh, international graduate stream. That's where I got my invitation to apply as well. And also you can consider uh, British Columbia Provincial Nomination Tech Pilot Program. So, so this specifically targets the IT professional, web developers, graphic designer, tech uh, support. So if you fall under those categories, then you can apply through BCPNP Tech Pilot Program. So if Just you guys- to add in guys, um, I also uh, found out that West Kutni is part of the rural Northern immigration pilot so this is uh, one of the easiest ways to immigrate here to Canada but then they have selected places here in Canada usually rural areas and one of them is West Kutney which I was talking about that Telke College is located uh, in one of these places like Castlegar, Nelson and Trail so you have other um, um, places here too but then if you're targeting to go to BC and you want to go through this uh, immigration pathway, then West Kidney is part of the, the program. One more thing, you can also apply for a permanent residency through Canadian Experience Guest. You just have to uh, gain one year Canadian Experience Guest here in BC and then you will be able to meet the el eligibility. So that's a, one of the major requirements for CEC. So now let's move on to how to apply at Selkirk College. So it's pretty easy and you can, uh, you can um, apply to them directly. But as you know, I'm a school partner, so I can help you to apply to Selkirk College. You just have to provide or follow these steps that I'm gonna tell you guys. So, so first one, you have to pay for the application fee. I'm sorry guys, I can't waive the application fee. I asked for them because I said, okay, I have some members who wanted to apply to your school. So they said they can't waive it, but there's some programs that they could. So you guys, if you guys are interested, you have to message me and I will tell you if this program, uh, if we can waive the application fee for this program or not. So it really depends on the program. But then step one would be go to Edu Planner, and that's where you register you put your details in there and then you choose the program that you like and then you pay for the application fee which is around hundred dollars step two is submit your documents so i need your high school transcript if you're under k-10 system education system if you're a senior high school graduate then i only need your senior high school graduate okay that's a minimum for the diploma programs if it's a post a graduate diploma i need a college transcript and the college diploma so that's high school transcript college transcript um college diploma and then next one will be your resume they only require resume if you have education gap so if you haven't studied for like 10 years or seven years they need to see your resume just to see like what was your like what are the experience that you had and lastly will be the english test so for english test for filipinos we can waive this okay as long as you can provide the english as medium of instruction from your high school and college and there are some program that requires you to take the English test but mostly for postgraduate diploma they don't require you to take the English test so just to provide that English as medium of instruction from high school and college then you're good to go but then if you have to take the English test I would highly suggest take the Duolingo test because that's only $42 and it's online it's pretty easy as well it's just like you can just take the test at home so it's really convenient for you so once you have this document then 
you will be able to get the conditional letter of acceptance. So you will see on that letter that you met the eligibility to get into that program. And then once you about to apply for your student permit, then get the official letter of acceptance. For you to get the letter of acceptance, the official letter of acceptance, you have to pay the first semester. So it really depends like how much your tuition fee is. But then once you pay the first, um, first semester, then you can use that as your proof of funds. You can use that on top of the, uh, the remaining money that you have in your bank account. If you're paying for the first semester, just attach the receipts to your application and then the rest the difference of the amount would be in your bank account or maybe a GIC um, investment certificate. And also I found out that they have a scholarship as well for international students. Once you're enrolled and once you're a full-time student, then you can apply for this scholarship. So a scholarship, again, they have like a GPA, which is 80%, which is very, very achievable if you really study. And then they also have bursaries. Bursary is like financial assistance, but then you have to prove that you really don't have the money anymore and then again right now you just have to aim to get your letter of acceptance aim to get your student permit and then once you have that go here in Canada and then you can apply for those first like scholarship and bursaries so if you guys interested to enroll at Selkirk College make sure that you send me an email send me a request it will be in my description box don't forget that because I the requirements also depends on the nationality if you're from Nigeria if you're from the Philippines or if you're from India or if you're from Bangladesh or from the UAE then that will uh, depend so uh, if you guys interested make sure that you check my description box send me a request and then I will be able to send you the requirements for that specific nationality so if you're wondering would you be able to move here or would you be able to get your permanent residency here in BC so I would say yes because BC PNP they always have a draw every si every two weeks I think BC PNP tech pile program they always have a draw every week and CEC they always have a draw every two weeks so you have that chance every two weeks to get in to the pool and to be selected by the uh, by the provincial or the federal level the only thing that you really need to get is a full-time job that offers NOC A B or zero so I will explain this PR pathways here in BC in a separate video so make sure that you're subscribed and if you like this video give it a thumbs up so more and more people and more and more international students will see my video who wanted to pursue their dream here in Canada again guys thank you for watching and I'll see you to the next one bye